I want to show you a quick overview on how you can create a flyer or even multiple flyers and how to design them, how to change colors, how to add information, change photos with just a couple of clicks. This is a follow up to our flyer feature video that we also have. But if you're not wanting to edit an existing flyer, if you're wanting to create a new one, here's how you would do that very simply. So when you're already in your, your property site, you come over here on the left to print materials. If we have already processed the tour, then you'll see our flyer here. If you're doing this before it's active, then you may see that it's blank. But either way, you can actually add as many flyers as you choose. So if you want to have a different photo arrangement, different color schemes, you have a lot of flexibility. You can just literally keep adding flyers as you choose. Um, and I'll show you in just a second a couple of ways that you can pick photos and also how you can decide if you want all of the flyers or only some of them to actually show up on the virtual tour. So the first thing you're going to do is hit the plus sign. You'll see that you have a lot of color and design options here. Um, if, if you have a standard logo like Long & Foster, Remax, one of the bigger brokerages, we have a lot of preset colors for those already. Um, if you have a unique color logo, you can actually adjust the colors and I will show you how to do that. But for now, let's just pick this one as an example. The first way we can select photos is from this window itself. So if you hit the drop down arrows, you can literally scroll through all of the photos in the virtual tour and select the ones that you want to show up in the flyer. Uh, so that's pretty self-explanatory. You know, let's just pick a few here. You can see them update in real time. So that's the one that I just chose here uh, and so on and so forth. You know, let's pick a living room. Let's say we pick a bedroom. All right, so let's say, okay, good. The photos are, are done. Um, some of the templates have different options here. So this one you'll see has this home for sale um, tagline here. You can actually say whatever you want. So you can just type over any of this stuff like this. And if you click away in this little gray area, anywhere in the gray, you'll see it update. So see that updated here? To home for rent. If I were to do that in all caps, we could see it update again. So you can play with all of this like that. Um, you can hide the price or you can change the price here. So let's say you had a price adjustment. This home is for rent. Let's say it does not have an MLS number. It will default to say MLS there, but you can just type over that like that you can do any number of things so like let's say you don't like when it runs together like this in the address you want to add a comma there you can do that let's say you want to adjust the remarks let's say you don't want this we have a website showing up at the end of the remarks here let's take that out i'm going to click away and we see that updates so all of these fields are editable if there is ever a contact field that you do not want to show up at all so let's say bed, bath, and square footage, for example. Uh, if I only want to get rid of part of that, let's say I just want the beds and the baths to show up, we just edit it like we've been doing. However, if you don't want anything there, you would highlight the entire field and then just hit your space bar. So essentially, the field needs something there. So rather than just deleting it, you need to actually put a space bar there so that it is blank. Before I show you an alternate way to select your photos, let me just go over the color portion of this really quickly. So at the bottom here, you'll see this little scroll bar takes you through all the fields. At the very bottom, you'll see the colors that are currently on the flyer, and those are completely adjustable. So let's say my logo happens to be uh, red and black, not red and blue. Let's say the red is good. I'm going to leave that one alone, but I want the blue to be black. If you select the drop down arrow on the colors, you'll see a bunch of color options. Now there's a couple of things you can do. So for something like black, that will show up because that's just you know a common color. So you can just select it like that and it will update. But if you have a more unique color in your logo, uh, you can hit this more colors button here 
and you can actually get extremely specific. So let's say, let's say I want a shade of yellow. Maybe my logo is, or let's say gold. That's better. Let's say gold and red. Okay. So I can, I can play around with this. If you actually know the you know, code of your color, you can put that in there. Most people don't know that. Um, but you can play with that as much as you want to. Make sure when you're done with your flyer that you hit save updates. If you don't hit save updates, you'll lose everything you just did. So there's a couple of things you can do. Uh, you can download the PDF. You can print it directly from this screen. Or you can come back and make changes at any time. So sometimes you might want to download it, print one version. Then maybe you would go edit it uh, without the price. Let's say you wanted a version with the price, one without the price, or whatever the case may be. You have a lot of flexibility here. The other thing you can do is have multiple flyers. You just click this plus again. Let's select another style. Let's say you're not really sure what you like better and you kind of want to play around with them until you find one that you like. Um, so rather than go through all these steps, I'm just going to leave this as is at the moment. But the point is, you'll see as many flyers as you create will all show up here. Now, one thing that you have to remember is any flyers that are here will show up on the virtual tour unless you hide them. So the way to hide them is just to toggle this I button. So that's hidden this is showing. So I'll show you what this looks like. If we open up the virtual tour, you can see that if you scroll down to where the flyers are, we are currently showing two flyers. Okay. So that's probably not what most people want. Uh, so, you know, whichever one you don't want showing publicly, you can just hide. Now you can always come back here and still print them or edit them or do whatever you want. Uh, but most people usually only want one to show up on the virtual tour, so just keep that in mind. The last thing I want to show you is one other option for how to pick the photos that you want to show up on the flyer. So if you've already created a flyer, it's going to have the photos that you selected. However, if you're starting from scratch, or let's say you want to create a new flyer, if you come over to Site Media, you can look through these and actually pick the photos you want right from this screen. The way you do that is by hitting the star button. So let's say I want this photo. I selected a flyer that had four images. So I'm going to select four images here. So let's say, you know, I want the front one. Let's say I like this kitchen and dining. Let's say I also want this full view kitchen. And let's say I want one of the living room. All right. So those yellow highlighted photos will be what shows up in my next flyer, or if you haven't created one yet, your first flyer. So if I click plus now, and I'll select a design. I'm going to select this one because um, I only selected four photos, so that would be this design. And you can see the photos showing up here are the ones that are starred. It's a very flexible system. You can do so much here. Um, and you can really make your flyers extremely personalized this way.